everyone how are you all today i'll show you how to make this very beautiful handmade flowers and these are made of paper they are paper flowers and the best part about the these flowers are and obviously about today's video is that all the supplies used today can be easily found in your homes you need not go and buy any fancy supplies from the market or stuffs like that so let's start with the video here at first i have taken a sheet of 120 gsm flower making paper and i'll just take the cello tape and put it here and cut a circle out of it usually punches are used to cut the flower shape but here since we are using all the homemade supplies we'll use we'll make our own cut and we'll use this tape and scissor for it just cut the circle out like this okay for a single flower you will be needing three circles i have already cut many so uh, let's take let's take a circle and all you have to do is look carefully all you have to do is make a cut like this and then make a cut opposite to it like this a bit more remember the cut should not be towards the extreme center it should not cut the paper in two halves and then make two cuts on uh, if your post taken vertically then you should make the second two cuts horizontally now the paper is divided into four equal parts but what we need is to divide the paper in eight equal halves so we have again cut it from the center of each part like this is your part and just cut it like this can you see the paper is divided in eight equal halves now what you all to do is cut it like this starting from the end and towards the center remember the cut should uh, should be a bit curved it should not be flat because that would not give a good shape to your flower now take the opposite side and start cutting in the same way like this so as to get a shape like this Yeah, we have got a eight petal flower okay now for a single flower we will be needing three petals so i will be cutting two more of this now the second step, step is to color these flowers i will be using my soft pastel colors for this so here i have got, got my soft pastels color now um, let us make uh, which flower do you want me to make this one or this one 
okay let us make this blue flower right so for these we need for this we need uh, this color okay this ultramarine blue no i have i'll take this one this is right i'll take this dark blue and jam jam i'll be taking this this is broken okay we have these four colors ready just keep this aside for the time now all you need is a uh, cellophane paper here it is okay let me clear my workspace otherwise i won't be able to work properly with these items lying around just a second okay yes this is very much better now um yeah, we have this take this flower is this color and just then take the dark blue one then take this one then also take the light blue one here it is now uh, you can use a sponge. I have taken the sponge I got it from somewhere lying around so you can either use a piece of it or you can just use your finger I will prefer using my fingers because it's easier and the color goes on well so take the light shade light one just color it like this remember uh, the paper i am using is 120 gsm flower making paper you can't use any paper in it so the only uh, the only supply you will be needing is the, this paper, flower making paper pressed if you don't have soft pastels the one which i am using you can also try using watercolor it will come out to be nice but yes this paper is required anyways now i'll be taking a shade lighter uh, a shade darker and i'm just applying it at the edges like this Are you seeing how beautiful the shade has come out to be? In the same way, color at the back too. Like this. This is our innermost petal. I'll take another petal. Just here, I've taken my second petal. Here. Uh, I'll be using this this color which is almost over just a second this is cerulean blue the one, the one which I'm using right now and then we will take this dark blue and just mix it with a little cerulean one and then apply at the corners i don't prefer you uh, applying it directly to my corners just because it's way too dark for my flower and my flowers shading will go if i directly use the shade here it is color the opposite side as well Your hands will be destroyed, I guess, because these these soft pastels messes up everything. So, if we would have used sponge dauber, our hands would not have been got so messy. But since we are using all homemade supplies, we are not 
going to use a sponge topper. Oops. Pardon me. What can I do? Okay. Mix these two colors. Apply it. Take a little bit of purple. Apply at the sides. Like this. Turn it over. Take these two colors. Mix them. Apply them. All over your flower. Take purple. Yes, and you're good to go. So, can you see the shade difference between the three? Uh, also, now I'll just make it a little shade darker and this one a bit lighter. Okay, right. Now, take this off and I'm removing the silicone. Now, what you need is a cloth which you can color it the way you want or Turkish towel like this or Turkish napkin the one which is having a bit thick foam a foam these are the three things and a brush and a wand now uh, we will just spread all the three and using brush and water, applying water to all the three flowers. Don't have to apply much water to it. If your paper is already thin, like if it is not the flower making paper, it may get torn. So then just have to soak it. I have applied water to these two flowers. So I'll just soak it using this cloth. Right. So here we are getting something like this. Put it aside. Or we have got like this. Repeat the same with the third one. may lose some color but that's normal that's okay so here are the three petals okay now keep them one by one on your towel on your napkin and like this and then fold it in half take your petal Take an empty refill pen and make grooves on it. For this purpose, groove gold tool has to be used. But since we are not using any tool here, we will use this pen which is not working anymore for making our grooves. Like this. Take your foam sheet. Put the flower black side down. Take a earbud. And just push it like this. Can you see? Like this. You have to repeat the same step for all the three. Uh, all the three like we have done for this. And these two. So here. 
I have repeated the step for the other two and these are the three petals we have got. Now I will just remove my doll. I will zoom in a little bit so that you can get a clearer view. Uh, now we need fairy gold. Open it. I am applying it using the bud. Taking good amount of it. Now just put a little bit. Now apply the second one over it like this. Again take favicor and add a little bit of it to it. Then add the lighter most layer like this. Okay. Now we'll be adding these golden color pollens. To our flower to make a hole in the center this I have made a hole at the center now this touch of pollen to it it down and attach it see i have added the pollen to our flower and i have added a good amount of glue that is fevicol here we let it dry and once it dries completely we will just cut the stem off using a scissor like this so here was the complete procedure of this flower you can also gift it to someone like this by folding the flower in the floral stem so here are the few decorations i have done using these flowers do like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you have a nice day